you know, first day of senior year. Everything's going so great. I mean, honestly, what's the worst that could happen, you know? I mean, I'm just having such a great time. What you got there? Syrup. Why? Because this episode, we're talking all things food related. I mean, that doesn't really justify you eating right now, From but weird food facts to our own ASMR show, we've got it all here on this food-themed edition of After the Storm. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the show. Hey Storm family, welcome back to After the Storm. I'm your host Angelica. And I'm your co-host Miles. On this episode, we're going to be talking about food. Whether you're more on the savory side of things or a sugar junkie like myself, we, all, we have it all here for you. Well, what's your sugary weakness? Mine is Reese's. I'm more of a vanilla cupcake kind of guy. Interesting. Hey, that reminds me. Well, here's a food fact for you. This Sunday, November 10th, is National Vanilla Cupcake Day, celebrating the simple yet delicious treat loved by many. So take this day to indulge in and appreciate in the craftsmanship going into this delectable sweet. That's an interesting fact. Speaking of facts, here's Amelie discussing food facts that will blow your mind. Hi, I'm Amelie, and today we're going to talk about the top 10 facts about food. Number one, bananas are berries, but strawberries are not. Number two, the invention of the sandwich was created by Earl of Sandwich when he was such an addiction to, uh, to gambling that he decided to eat his food with two loaves of bread so he didn't have to get up and get it. Fact number three, McDonald burgers don't rot because they're low in moisture. So uh, think about that before you pick up a Big Mac. Fact number four, in Kentucky it is illegal to keep an ice cream cone in your back pocket. I don't know why they needed to make that law. I don't wanna know. Fact number five, there was a lawsuit to prove that Pringles were not made out of real potatoes. Will I still eat them? Yes, I will. Fact number six, when you have sushi, sometimes the wasabi that comes with it isn't real wasabi. It's actually flavored horseradish. Not that I eat wasabi anyways, because Fact number seven, if you have two or more teaspoons of nutmeg, it could cause you to have hallucinations. So maybe lay off that drink this Christmas. Fact number eight, Peanuts are actually used in dynamite because they contain an oil called glycerol, which is used to make nitroglycerin, which is used for dynamite. Fact number nine, French fries were actually created in Belgium, not France. They're called French fries because of the way they're prepared. Fact number 10, Russia classed beer as alcohol in 2011. They're hardcore like that. Thank you for watching. This has been top 10 weirdest facts about food. Wow, I didn't know that bananas are actually berries. Thanks, Amelie. It's crazy how you can think one thing and then be proven completely wrong. Jacob is here to show us an example of this by performing a test. Does food taste better if it's got a heftier price tag on it? Let's check it out. Welcome to Cash or Trash! McFadder's new game show, new game show, new game show, new game show! About whether people can tell which items are more expensive or not. And we're gonna do a little trick. What we've done is that we have given everybody same items just on different plates to see whether they think it's more expensive or not. So this is some psychology right here. Thanks, Miss Woods. Shout out, Miss Woods. Are they both water? That's like thick water. That's like flavorless milk. Does water taste different? Yeah. Hold on. I think this one. This one's the expensive one. Almost identical, dang. That's really good. <laughs> this one's the good one, or the, the, the expensive one. This one. I think the one on the left is better. Oh, 
I hate pretzels. These look identical. Are you sure this isn't just like a a trick? These ones are more shiny. Okay, tastes like a pretzel. I feel like these are more expensive. And you're about the same, but these are like a little bit fresher. So I think this one, these look exactly the same. There's like a, are they all the same things? Don't tell me I got all of them wrong. Any of them? One. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> so I got played? Yeah, so that's been our show. Cash or trash. Turns out almost the majority were fooled, except for Joey. He's smart. And that has been our show. Thank you for watching. We don't know if we're gonna be back or not. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Depends if we get canceled or renewed. I don't know. We're like, we have no money. Wow, that really proves that price doesn't equal quality. Speaking of quality, here's Logan attempting to cook. We all know those people with wrong food opinions. Some are reasonable, like not liking licorice. My co-host Miles is here to share his wrong opinion on his picky preference of everything anti-red sauce. Marinara sauce goes on pizza, pasta, and many more. It's a cornerstone of Italian dishes. However, it's garbage. When's the last time you've seen a pizza place advertise extra sauce? Never. People might order light sauce, but never extra sauce. It's always the worst part of whatever dish it's on. This is due to it basically being tomato sauce with a splash of olive oil. Now, this may be a hot take, but juice doesn't belong on foods. Juice is juice. But even if you want to argue that marinara is a sauce, it still tastes like garbage. It tastes like blood, but worse. Overall, marinara is the worst thing to grace this earth. Thanks for that example of when it's best to just keep your opinions to yourself. We'll see if I can get Miles to be less wrong while we go to this commercial break. When we come back, you'll get to see our very own take of a viral eating trend and witness Kyle's interesting version of a cooking show. So sit tight. Welcome to Noi, your one-stop shop for all kinds of frozen treats. We make smoothies, smoothie bowls, frozen yogurt, and gelato pops, which can be dipped in chocolate, fudge, marshmallows, and more. We also offer a variety of toppings for all our tasty treats. So stop in and visit Noi, located at 9110 West State Road 84 in Davie. Welcome back. We're excited to... What are you doing? It's called ASMR. Doesn't it give you tingles? If by tingles you mean make me feel extremely uncomfortable, then yeah. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Come on. Fine. Welcome back. I'm Miles. How was that? Eh. No one can top Kaylani and Jada in this next segment. Hi, my name is Jada. And my name is Kaylani. And this is us trying ASMR carpool edition. <laughs> we hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay, so right now we are going to Wendy's. We're already in the parking lot, but we're going to head through the drive through So Kaylani, would you... Would you Thank you. 
Everyone loves a good cooking show, whether it's Gordon Ramsay screaming his head off or Tyler the Creator not being allowed to do what he needs to do. Cooking shows are a large part of television. Here's Kyle with his unique take on the cooking show. So we're in the kitchen now. <laughs> Here to check out Mr. Loud. Hi, nice to meet you. That incredible, incredible handshake you got there. That's the wrong hand. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're here to check out your wacky chef style. What is that, would you say? Well, uh, as you can tell, I'm a very loud person. I actually hard to see so I like to scream at the food. Cool. Yeah. And what have you prepared for us today? Sounds tasty. All right, uh, I need to show you about my first step. So go ahead. So, uh, you're gonna be delicious. You understand me? I can't wait to eat you. You're gonna be so delicious. You understand me? You're gonna be so good. I can't wait to eat you. And that concludes this delicious episode of After the Storm. Hope we didn't make you too hungry. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at McFadder TV. And check out our website, McFaddertvpro.com, for more of your favorite McFadder content. I'm Miles. And I'm Angelica. We hope you have a delectable day. So what's your message?